everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you my six day trip to finish lapland i visited lapland in the first week of december which is arguably the best time to be there since it's christmas season and there's a lot of snow and the vibes are just amazing i'm an erasmus student in finland so my trip was taken care of by the erasmus student network at my university and it was completely organized by time travels which is a finnish tour operator so we took off from yomansu at around 1 30 a.m by bus our first destination was arctica museum in rovaniemi it was a 10 hour drive with two quick breaks. So we arrived there at around 11.15 a.m. and had two hours to explore the entire museum, which was more than enough in my opinion. The museum is a great place to start your trip with. Um, you'll get to learn about the history of Lapland, the Arctic, about the Sami people who are the indigenous people of the north. You learn about the nature, the animals of that region. They had so many wax statues that looked really cool and realistic. The next destination, and maybe the most exciting to some people, is Santa Claus's village, which is where you meet the one and only Santa. Unfortunately, they only gave us two hours there, which I honestly thought was so unfair because the village was relatively big and it was so nice and there was a lot of things to do. My priority was to go to Santa's office because I heard that they send your letters or postcards from there to anywhere in the world. I decided to write my nephews and niece because I haven't seen them in such a long time. I imagine that they get super excited about having postcards coming to them from Santa from Lapland. So I wrote them some cute letters and I put them in the box uh, that will get them delivered on Christmas Day. As far as I remember, the postcards are for free, you just need to pay for the stamp, which is 2.5 euros, and they send them anywhere in the world. And here you can see all these letters coming to Santa from around the world, and Santa actually reads those letters and then they put them in these little boxes labeled by country. Rovaniemi is exactly on the Arctic Circle, um, and I believe here in Santa's village you can actually stand in that line next to this Arctic Circle sign. It was only minus 13 degrees Celsius when we visited, which is actually considered not that bad. We had some worse days. We started exploring the village a little more. We visited some shopping stores, had some icy drinks in an icy restaurant, saw some reindeers, and I was so freaking excited. Being in a place like this literally brings out my inner child. You might see people jumping in Santa's village either from happiness or because it's really cold. They gave us two hours, but if we had more time, we would have been in there eating steaks right now. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm gonna go meet Santa. There's a big line, but hopefully I can make it. So this is my picture with Santa. They don't actually allow you to take any pictures with your phone or camera. They take a professional picture of you and then you can just buy the photo. He was so nice and he was asking me questions, but I was just like crushing because I was so late to the bus and I had to kind of take the picture and literally tell him like, bye, I need to go. Study sofa is where we are staying and sleeping. Um, so yeah, it's like three hours from here, right? Yeah. All right, I'm about to sleep. Deuces. Doing homework in the bus. You guys are diligent mm. students. I'm very diligent. <laughs> By the time we arrived in Saraselka, it was really dark and we were very tired, so we went straight to our cottages, we ate dinner, and tried to rest. It's a really nice resort village, especially in that time of the year. There's a lot of restaurants, bars, activities, hotels, and a ski resort. The cottages we stayed at um, were really cozy. Here's a, a little tour. So this is the Finnish sauna inside of the shower room. Um, and the way it's done in Finland is that you enter the sauna and once you're done, you go outside in the snow. 
or in really cold water and freeze to death. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but it's actually a really nice feeling. So I'm putting moisturizer and then I'm putting sunscreen on top because otherwise my face will get so dry because of the snow and the cold weather. Our trip had about eight activities. The activities available on the first day in Saraselka were ice skating in the wilderness, reindeer herder experience with the Sami people, and snowshoe trek to wilderness. My friend and I didn't have any activities booked on that day. We decided to take our time, heal from yesterday's long bus ride, and have a non rust breakfast. We did some work in the morning and left the cottage at around 12 p.m. to visit the ski resort nearby. I said I feel like a polar bear. I'm wearing so many layers and I'm so like... <laughs> I can explode in any minute, but we're warm and we're ready to go. The resort was a 30 minute walk up the mountain from our cottage. Um, it was a really nice hike. Um, it wasn't very cold. Our intention was just to have a donut and some hot chocolate at the cafe. Midway through our convo, we decided to go tobogganing for the first time ever. And I'm so glad we did. It was our first time on the ski lift and going down, the view was just amazing. Yay! <laughs> I think they think you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> We went to the rental shop, got our slides and helmets, and then went up the mountain again and started tobogganing. So this is the Sarasoka Ski Resort, and we were going down the third route on the left. Is that you? <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> I think that's the wrong way. I understood how the legs work in the beginning because I was going slow. And then... How the leg works? Okay, oh, he's still there. <laughs> that's true. Shouldn't. Literally, this all the snow was in my eyes. Look at it. I'm dying. <laughs> my eyes just showered, you guys. <laughs> we need the uh, uh, goggles next time. Oh, you mean like go to the to the rental shop Thanks, again? Bro. Oh, uh, girl, I'm not gonna spend another 20 euros for that. My eyes can shower once or twice. Doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, let's go. That was so much fun. Okay, this is our third round. Ah! Oh my god, <laughs> Snow's everywhere. But thankfully, I'm not feeling cold yet. My fingers are though. And the second time is normally easier, but it wasn't for me. Because the snow was in my eyes the whole time. So if you do to vlogging, you definitely need goggles. Don't skip that step like we did. Um... <laughs> And it got pumpier and pumpier, and I was jumping, literally. <laughs> yeah, the view is really nice. <laughs> Less snow in my eyes this time. Also, people were on the road, and I managed to like swerve around. <laughs> it's my night. My dad. <laughs> All right, we're doing the final round, fourth round. Let's go. So this marks the end of our activities on the second day in Lapland. After we were done tobogganing, we walked back to the cottage, which was another 30 minute walk. 
We made it back. So the rest of the day was just relaxing. I was journaling and learning more about the Sami people while also drinking Finnish clock, listening to Christmas songs and sitting by the fire. And now it's the third day in Lapland and we're having a full day activity in Norway. We drove about four hours to arrive to our destination. First, we'll visit a huge public sauna by the Arctic Ocean, then visit a small Norwegian village to eat dinner. Yeah. <laughs> We're here at the crock of the hall, literally. <laughs> So currently it's uh, 6.50 and we're heading to the bus because we're going to Norway. We're going to go to the Arctic Ocean, swim and do a bunch of things. Um, so yay! We had a few breaks on the way and then we were just exploring some sites. Look at how beautiful it looks. I've never thought I would be this far north ever in my life. This was us leaving the sauna after our first session. It was absolutely hot inside. We weren't able to stay in there for more than a couple of minutes. So we ran down to the Arctic Ocean and we started swimming. We took a couple of pictures. It was just amazing. The feeling was beyond description. <laughs> After a few rounds, we went to a small Norwegian village further north and we had dinner. Um, we ate fish soup, which I think is a traditional dish there and was absolutely delicious. <laughs> Tiny bit of it. our dessert. <laughs> On the way back to Sariselka, we stopped by this biggest souvenir shop in northern Finland. And I got a few gifts for myself and my niece because I'm visiting her this holiday in Germany. I remember to take a video after I took a bite. <laughs> Welcome to day four in Lapland. Today I have two activities. The first one is a husky safari, which is early in the morning. And the next is cross-country skiing. And luckily, both of the activities were really close to our cottages, so we didn't have to drive much. Thought that I would miss her more, but I wake up and I feel better. Cause I let somebody, let somebody, let somebody go. We've been going on forever. There's no more crying on the floor. And she said it's now or never. So I let somebody, let somebody, let somebody go. Ooh. I went on the very first round, so I had the rest of the time to sit by the fire and talk with others and also learn from the tour guide about the huskies and how they take care of them. If you go on a husky safari, you have to dress up really, really well because you spend so many hours outside and you get really cold. We took a very quick break after our husky safari and then now we're ready to go to cross-country skiing. <laughs> I've actually done cross-country skiing weekly when I was a student in Italy, uh, but that was about five years ago. So let's see if I'm still good at it. So it turns out I'm still pretty good, but it was a lot of effort and I was sweating. <laughs> it's a lot of movement. Um, and I think it's not as enjoyable as downhill activity. So I have to snowboard next and then we'll see what's up. So after our very exhausting skiing trip and husky ride, and husky ride it was on the same day. So we were super exhausted. We went back, we ate, took showers, rested a little bit. And now we heard that the auroras are, um, you know, visible right now from up the hill. So Jen and I are aurora hunting right now. We're going up the mountain. Up the mountain, yeah. They are much more visible in Russia, um, northern Russia, but I think they're expanding right now and coming towards Finland. 
sadly we weren't able to see the auroras or the northern lights because there was full cloud coverage um and it's honestly always the same we always have auroras above our heads but there is a lot of clouds that we're not able to see them luckily for me i was able to see them when i was in yoensu and you guys it was like magical it felt so unreal after the disappointment of not seeing auroras i decided to go to the main city center of saraselka and explore some bars and restaurants and just enjoy the vibes Okay guys, as usual, I forgot to vlog, but we are leaving our cottage. Um, we just cleaned it and we had the checkout and um, ready to go. Last minute trash. We have, uh... shit, I'm terrible, I forgot how to vlog. <laughs> okay, uh, basically it's 9 a.m. We had to put our luggage in the bus and then we checked out and then we have a few hours in the city before we completely leave Lapland. Yeah, not for good. <laughs> not for good. Maybe maybe we'll come back. Yeah. All right. Let's see you on the other side. Let's go this way. Uh, now we're officially leaving Lapland, and it's also Finnish Independence Day, December sixth. <laughs> So yeah, Jen, your moment of fame. <laughs> you got something to tell my followers? Like, share, subscribe <laughs> for more adventures. Yes, there will be a lot more in the future. <laughs> After another 11 hours, we made it back to our residences um, at the university in Yawinsu. And I've never been this happy to see Latulankatu, but I was absolutely dehydrated and exhausted in the bus and my knee was in pain. Overall, this trip was amazing and so memorable. I got to see more of Finland and I just enjoyed every second of it. It was amazing. I loved it. We loved it. And yeah, this is the end of the video. Um, subscribe to see more adventures in Finland and elsewhere.